Welcome to another video presentation from Virtualize Everything. And tonight, we're going to look at installing OpenVPN in an LXC on Proxmox 7 running on a Raspberry Pi. The first thing we're going to need to do is create a container. To do that, we click Create CT. Enter a name. Enter a password. Now remember in choosing your password to use a strong one. This container is going to be exposed at least on one port to the internet. And then click Next. Select our Ubuntu template that we have uploaded. If you don't already have an idea of how to get your image file to your Proxmox 7 server on a Raspberry Pi, we have a video on creating an LXC using Proxmox 7 on a Raspberry Pi. It isn't as straightforward as just selecting the image like it would be on an x86 or AMD64 system. So now we're going to click Next. And let's decrease this because our Raspberry Pi doesn't have a lot of storage. One CPU core, 512 memory, and let's configure a static IP address as this will be a server and you will have to configure port forwarding to pass at least one port into this container in order to use this on your cell phone or other outside networks. Enter an IP address inside your subnet and we're going to end ours with slash 24. Now we can enter the IP address to our gateway and press next. Use our default DNS server and we're going to hit finish. And we can close out of this screen. Select our container here. But now, before we actually boot that container up, we actually need to head into the shell of our Proxmox server. We can do that by selecting our server and then pressing the shell button. So now let's take a look at the Proxmox directions for installing OpenVPN in an LXC. This set of steps is going to be very similar to what we're going to need to do inside of our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is jump over here and take note of our container name, 102 for us. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this line into our shell, changing 123 to 102 and pressing enter. Now let's scroll down here, press enter so we have a designation between the line we entered and the lines that were not, and enter these two lines. Now in Proxmox 7, you're also going to need to drop this to so it looks like so. This is said right here. Now we can go ahead and press Control X, Y for yes, and enter. Now we need to run a chown command to give access to our container to the dev slash net slash ton file that OpenVPN will need to access. Press enter. And we can check that that actually happened by copying and pasting the ls-l command as so. And we can see it matches the one in our tutorial, so we're good. Now, we can close this shell interface, go back to our Proxmox server, and start the container we created. Click console, log in with root and the password you configured during the creation of the container. Now, let's create a new user. And let's assign pseudo rights to that user. Now, let's SU into that user. And let's run 
sudo passwd dash l root to disable the root password. Now the root login process is disabled, but fear not, we can enter back into the root command prompt by entering sudo dash s. Now we're back at the root user. So we can go back to following our tutorial. The first thing we want to do is run an apt update and we're going to string a couple of commands together with the and and symbol. Pressing enter will update and upgrade your container all in one string. Now let's install both get and openvpn. And for good measure, let's also install OpenSSH server. Now generally this is installed on most systems by default, but it is not included in LXCs. You will see why we need OpenSSH later on. We'll end this command with dash Y and press enter. Alrighty. Let's download the script that we're going to use to configure OpenVPN using Git. Now let's open that directory with the cd command. And let's use bash to run the script. And if you can see here, I'm using all defaults. Okay, at this point, you have a running OpenVPN server, but let's take note of something and realize that the configuration file that our client needs to communicate with this server is actually still on the server. And let's move around and get that file. Let's cd to the slash root directory, run an ls, and find out that our configuration file, ve.ovpn, is there. In order to get this file, let's make a copy of it using cp, then enter the name of the file, a space, slash, home slash the username that we set up when we ran the add user command and press enter. Now we can use an ls slash home slash username to view that the file has been indeed moved. Now we need to tweak this line here in several different ways. So here we're going to use SCP from our Mac to secure copy paste the file from this server to the Mac desktop so we can configure the OpenVPN client on the Mac. Here is using the SCP command. I think it's valuable, although it's not the only way for getting the file off. It is an easy way. So SCP space username at IP address of server, colon, path to file you would like, plus file name, space, path where you would like the file to be stored. Press enter. You need it. give it permission to use this new server that it has never seen before. And enter your user password for that user account on the server. Now you can see right here on my desktop, the file that we are going to use to set up our OpenVPN client on our machine. As always, I hope you found tonight's video educational. 
and are one step closer to having a very useful virtualization server as part of your home network, and also able to secure cell phone and laptop traffic using a VPN connection when away, or just enjoy access to your files all on the road or just in your day-to-day -day life. If you enjoyed tonight's video, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, have a good night.